Hey, so first of all, please excuse the hair. I just got out of the shower and it is long overdue a cut. So we're just embracing the fact that it looks like shit right now. But yeah, as you can see by the title, I am five months on testosterone. So I'm hoping to keep this quite short because I've got a bit of an opportunity when nobody's in the house to actually sit and film this video. I was technically five months, two days ago, because it's the 13th today and it was on the 11th. Again, I'm not looking for changes very much, so I don't know everything that's changed. There's a few things that I've noticed that I'm going to touch on. I really need to start looking. I think next month I'm going to try and kind of observe things and then see if things have changed and also write them down as soon as I remember, as soon as I realise because I keep forgetting things and then realising after I film the video and I'm not going to sit and refilm for like one thing. But yeah, so anyway, um, first thing, the thigh hair's still growing in. It's doing it slowly, but it is slowly like getting longer and kind of filling up more of my leg. My arm hair is definitely darker. I don't actually know when that happened, but if I look, like I have just noticed lately that um, it is starting to come up onto like my hands at the side there a little bit, but the hair that's on my hands is a lot finer, probably because that's completely new hair and the arm, the hair was already on my arm, but it's just kind of darker. Um, my stomach hair's coming in a little bit more. It's, it's, there's not a lot of it at all. Like I said before, it's still, it's not like the blonde invisible hair, because obviously I can see that it's there, but it's not, black either so it's like kind of darkish so it's noticeable but it's not dark but i've noticed that's just like a line that goes up from like the bottom of my stomach like through my belly button and up there's a little bit coming in now like at either side of what i call the crab ladder some people call it a happy trail and different things there's like little bits coming in kind of sparse at the side of the crab ladder those are pretty much invisible they're a lot less dark than the actual like line but yeah i've just noticed that's coming in a bit more as well and kind of the last thing for like body hair but the one that i really wasn't really looking forward to but it just took me by surprise when i noticed it because when i noticed it it was like far gone um so i don't know when this started but i have so much arse hair <laughs> yeah i have a lot of arse hair but it's not on on my bum it's not like on the outside if i pulled down my chat i'm not gonna if i turn around and pull down my chat and show you my bum it, it's bald it's like a baby's the only place that there is hair on my ass is like around my bum hole and in between my cheeks so it's like the most inconvenient place to have it if it's on the outside it'd be easy to remove and it also wouldn't mean like wiping was a hassle kind of noticed it for a few weeks and i didn't really think anything of it and i was like fuck it and i got a mirror and oh my god it's terrible so yeah that's just like a i, I don't like that at all but I just found it funny that it's just at the inconvenient places. It's not on the outside at all. It's just inside my arse cheeks. So yeah, I'm really, really enjoying that. That's one thing that I really didn't want from tea. But they don't get to choose, so cool, thanks. As for my acne, it isn't terrible. I don't know if it's improved. I think it, the redness might have gone down a little bit more. I've been using some new things. Um, I got like a, it's like a, uh, is it there? Yeah. Got this from Avon. Clear skin blemish clearing o2 fresh bubble cleanser so it i'm not gonna do it but it's like you push that down and it's like just bubbles it's kind of like a foamy thing but it's not really foam it's just bubbly and i should put that all over my face and especially focus on like this area because this is where i get loads of spots just leave that on for like a minute and then wash it off and i've also got a, a toner it's just like a little bottle that's in the bathroom so i can't show you but it, it it's just kind of alcohol it, it reminds me of nail varnish remover and it's just wet, you have to put it on a little cotton wool ball or pad and wipe it on your face. So again, I focus on where there's the most spots, but that seems to work really well and I think that's the thing that's really helping it. But when I use that, it dries out all the spots. So they kind of dry up and they're not as red and that seems to help it quite a lot. It's just really alcoholy, and if I've just like popped a spot, it kind of stings a little bit. And I need to stop popping spots because it, it it's become like this compulsion as soon as I see a whitehead on one of these spots, especially one of the bigger ones, I can't leave it alone, I have to pop it. There's a lot of spots like there's one that were on my chin for a while that I popped and then it would come back and then I pop it and it, and it did it like six times before it went away and I don't want to end up leaving any lasting marks or like scars from spots because I'm popping them. But I don't like the way that looks that spots look when they've got a whitehead, like it, it, it looks dirty to me. I don't like it at all. At least when they're red, they're not as noticeable, but when you've got this big fucking fat thing with your wired, it annoys me and I can't not. So I need to kind of work on self-control with that. And one of the things that I forgot to say last time was that one of the things I'm doing to kind of try and help the acne out a little bit is to shave my face. Not the moustache, because that's actually dark and noticeable. And even though it looks fucking awful, I love it. Because <laughs> it took me 20 years to grow it and it's something. But just all of the peach fuzz on my face, so like all down here and all down on my neck, I've been shaving because there is quite a lot of peach fuzz. It's not like thick, 
and there's, it's not long, although I don't know how long it would have got if I didn't start shaving it. But it, it, it's invisible anyway, and I just figured if it's there, it's potentially holding on to oil and dirt and stuff that's going to make my skin worse, so I might as well get rid of it. I get the odd one on like my lip or my moustaches, rarely, so I don't see the benefit of shaving the stash at all, which is going to make me feel like shit because it's going to be gone. But yes, I've been doing that every like week, about every week or so. And it, it does grow in and it's growing in now and I need to shave it because like on my chin especially it starts to get like prickly. Um, it's kind of annoying but it's also nice to have something to shave even if it is the invisible stuff that like you wouldn't know was there anyway. Um, it's nice to have something to annoy me to have to shave. And the most exciting thing by far, it's so stupid but it is exciting, yesterday I found my first two chin hairs. Um, they were, oh, is that your chin? That's my chin. But they're kind of on my neck there, like where kind of the bottom of the beard would be. I actually found it while I was popping one of these spots. Um, so again, I need to stop doing that. But <laughs> I was popping one of these and I noticed it's like somewhere near here. I don't know. Somewhere. I noticed one and I'm like, oh my god, there's a lot of black hair. And then I noticed like directly underneath it, there was another one. There's just those two and I was looking around and it is just those two. But they're definitely new because I've never had a black hair on my face apart from my moustache but even that my moustache isn't jet black it's just dark i haven't actually shaved them off yet i'm gonna have to but i need to try and take a picture of them first i want to do it when my spots don't look really red and horrible but i think that might be unavoidable i need to shave my face anyway so i need to take a picture and then i'll shave them off no it's nice even though i know a beard's like a while away and it, it's not something that bothers me all that much to be honest it's still really exciting to find those first two chinners um, but yeah, that's that's basically it for changes. That's all I've noticed. So again, not too much. I'm not really looking as well. I want to try and look a bit closer, and like I said, write things down when I notice them so I don't forget. But that's basically all that I've noticed for this month. I did have my four month review appointment on the 25th of October with um, Kirsty Santaro, the nurse at Sheffield Portable Clinic. That appointment went well. It ended up being like two seconds about testosterone and then just about top surgery. And I've still got my top surgery referral appointment on the 25th of November. So it's a couple of days over two weeks now and i will make a video talking about how the top surgery appointment went and also about the four month review in there because there's not that much to say about it um and i might as well say it all in one video i do already know which surgeon i'm gonna get referred to um because kirstie said that appointment was literally just to talk to the doctor for him to answer any other questions that i wanted to ask and to tell him what surgeon i want to be referred to and then he put in the referral so i don't know how long that appointment's going to be if it's going to be anything more than that but like i say i'll explain everything that happened in the first appointment and what surgeon i've chosen and why and how the referral went and anything else that happens all in that one video just so it's easy and lastly i didn't upload um <coughs> that one really a voice break that was weird um yeah i didn't upload this month's binder giveaway on the channel because to be honest i this, this past few weeks i've had quite a few down days Nothing major, just like one of those days where you're just off it and you just feel a bit shit. This four has been <laughs> great. Love it. So yeah, I've just not really wanted to do much and uploading has kind of been no motivation and then I forget because I'm doing other things and I'm trying to focus on other stuff and then by the time I remember it's when I'm feeling like shit because I'm going, I've not uploaded a video, oh everything's shit, blah, 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 and then I'm not in the mood to film a video. So I need to um, kind of get some ideas and, and, and I do want a certain film because I enjoy doing this. It makes me happy. I feel like I've done something. But I, I kind of remember today I was like, oh shit, it's like nearly halfway through the month and I've not uploaded the Biden giveaway. So I figured I'm not going to bother with the video so I don't want to film them right now. I've just posted the link to the Google form that you have to enter on my Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, which are all at jsjourneyftm. If you want to go and enter that if you need it, go and enter there. All the rules are explained on the Google form anyway. Next month and forever onwards it'll be as it always is which is the video. But yeah so that's it that's all I want to say in this video. Again not many changes a uh, bit of an excited one mainly with the chin hairs as much as it's stupid it is exciting and before my six month appointment you'll have a video about how the top surgery referral went. So yeah thanks for watching come on my journey and I'll see you in this video.